Kyle here from allmeadreviews.blogspot.com. I'm uh, going to do just a couple different things in this video I've been meaning to do or show, but I got my package yesterday from... I didn't bring the hats upstairs. Maybe another day I'll... I should do like all Kevin Gilbert uh, merch video of some kind. This is Prince, of course, but... Um, but I got my package from Pop Plus One, ordered the new Kevin Gilbert Maxi single, The Best of Everything... Which, uh, you know, and it's like the whole idea behind some of the lyrics is like like a love relationship, Valentine's Day. You know, it's kind of a classy kind of tune, um, sort of romantic tune in a way. Not like super like melancholy romantic or um, cinematic romantic, but romantic and sort of a, I don't know, like Sinatra 50s. It's a piano ballad, you know. Um, and this version, this new maxi single, includes, as I'll show here again, the two extra demos. One's a pop demo, one's an instrumental demo. And, and they're a little different. The little trailer that the Kevin Gilbert official YouTube page showed um, played some, some clips from it. it. It sounds more a little bit like a Super Tramp, like I made a comment. It reminds me of Super Tramp, like um, Bloody Will Ride or Logical Song. You know, that, that I mean, they're not the only band, obviously, that use that... Um, what is it? Is it just a Hammond B3? I, I don't know. It's not an organ. It's a, like a rope. It's that, that common space, you know, like Queen used it, you know, Jellyfish used it a lot of, you know, and so Kevin used it on that arrangement on the pop demo and pop demo instrumental. Um, and then the original, which came out on, um, I want to say it was Bolts? It was the Nuts or Bolts, one of those two in 2009, which when I get to... That Kevin Gilbert uh, album videos I'll talk a little more about, but this particular song has always been... I mean, it's Kevin Gilbert anyway, but it's been one of the better, one of his better piano ballads. Not my favorite necessarily, but anyway, I got number 133, and then I bought an extra just because I'm a completist, obsessive fan, 187 there. So, yeah, I mean, you know, if you're... If, again, it's got the lyrics, talks about Valentine in it, you know... Dear St. Valentino. I mean, it's about, you know, how much he's, he's not good enough for the girl he's with or that maybe the girl he likes. I can't remember, you know, or I do not stand a chance. She's singularly unimpressed with with me. I think that's what it is. Tell her, tell her one thing she ain't never going to find, uh, and that's the man who would love her as much as I. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Is it a, it's kind of a unrequited love in some way, or just a hopeless romantic. Of course, the picture, I could open this up if I can get this, is a similar, the picture that they use. I'm not surprised for, I think it was on the nuts and bolts compilations. Anyway, so that's one item. Um, a sad, pretty sad note I wanted just to mention too. I mean, I probably should be doing separate videos for this, but I haven't talked that much about the band more on Police, but... Um, their uh, singer, guitarist, songwriter, Sandra, I forget his last name, I'm friends with on Facebook, um, also is in the band Major Parkinson for the last album and then whatever they're doing now. He's been with them for a few years now. Uh, they're from they're from the Netherlands, I think. Anyway, um, their drummer, um, Thor Pedersen, unfortunately died in a car accident. Um, I think it was over last weekend. Don't know all the details. I mean, the the write up was really just heartfelt, and he was. I don't know how old he was. He was probably in his mid thirties. I mean, I guess he's younger than me, and really sad. You know, uh, more and police are. They were started off as like sort of a progressive metal, almost not parody, but humor band of sorts. Um, and then the last few records, including the EP that came out with twenty twenty one, was more prog rock. Uh, the last album, Boat on the Sea, wasn't universally liked, but a ton of people really liked. And the, the EP they put out last year was, was pretty good, too. I, I actually liked that in some ways a little more than the Boat on the Sea. I forget the name of it, but um, it was on my list. It was on my EP list if you watched the video, but I, I just, um, it's, you know, losing people. I start to wonder about life and existence, and we're here before we were born. What, where are we going to go when we die? We go somewhere else. 
everyone's, uh, all these people that are, you know, passing away. The older people, you know, like Sidney Poitier and Betty White, uh, Michael Nesmith even to an extent. Um, you know, I, they lived a pretty full, they lived pretty full lives, but you, know, you see someone like Thor's age, and I can, can't imagine what Sandra's going through, you know. Him and I, we share a lot of common tastes in music. He's into tons of bands that I am, I'm into, tons of artists. And the fact he actually plays in his main band, his, like, his baby, you know, he's been with the Moron Police, and then his, uh, the band he's been with the last few years, Major Parkinson, makes him all the more someone that I, you know, think of as a friend, at least. Um, and I think, I, I just feel really bad for the band. So, anyway, um, not to kind of dwell on sad notes, you know, I would recommend, if you've never heard Moron Police, check them out for sure. Um, uh, Boat on the Sea, you know, uh, what's the, something in the, the yard? I forget, I forget the name of their other records, I should know them, but, so, um, I was just going to talk about a couple others that I don't have physical copies of, but I can thank a few different places, one of them specifically being, um, uh, Notes Reviews, he mentioned among 2021 20, albums that he hadn't heard, and I mentioned the other day, Giant Sky, and I've been listening to Giant Sky since last Friday, and oh, their, their debut album. And I guess this is a side project of the band Soup, and they're also from Norway. They're from Norway, just like Timmy, I believe, and who's the other band? Twenty Two is also from Norway. So Norway's got a lot of really good music <laughs> in terms of progressive stuff. But um, I'm still listening to it. Maybe I'll do a full video, separate review on it. But I can definitely say. If I would have heard this during 2021, it would have ended up in my top 10, maybe even my top 5. It's seven tracks, it's it's like the right blend of like progressive rock, post-rock, spacey, kind of ethereal synths with female vocals, male vocals, acoustic elements, space rock. It's It just doesn't, it's like the perfect mix, the perfect blend of um, not a... Um, not less is more, but the right length for prog. I mean, the album... I'm surprised people say it's a little gem. I would call it more than that. I mean, granted, I'm just new to it, so I guess I could say in a few months. I mean, I did listen to it a couple times and came to the feeling, well, I do really like this. I Maybe I went a little overly apeshit over it initially, but, um, yeah, this... I'm hoping that it's the same guy... The guy from Soup, who I have never heard Soup either, that's also from Norway, this Erland guy. Um, Erland, his name's on here. Um, well, I mean, Soup started out as, Soup-1 on Rate Your Music, as his his project, and then became a band, but now this is like a solo project of his, and he's had other people play on it, but, um, I mean, I have not listened to enough Soup, I'm starting to listen to some of their music, their 2017 album, Remedies, I'm trying to listen to, and they had an album that came out in 2021, I just realized, uh, Notes Reviews mentioned today, called uh, Visions, so... Um, what the, the distinction between the two bands is exactly, other than maybe some of the vocal styles, and um, I'm not sure, because I guess Soup is maybe more of a post-rock band. I mentioned post-rock yesterday in the video, but anyway, so yeah, Giant Sky, self-titled album. Um, I, I want to get a physical copy. They were sold out of both vinyl and CD. I did buy the digital version, but... They, I posted something on their Facebook page and on Instagram. They were saying that they might do a second pressing of the vinyl. So if I do get that, I'll have to show it. So the one I've been uh, sort of um, not procrastinating on, I mean, I'll, yeah, Soup is another one I'll probably talk about. There's a band called Mir, M-E-E-R, that uh, I know that Nathan on Shuffle and now Notes Reviews have talked about and then on the Dream Theater forum. So Mir's another one who I think they may be from Norway also. I'm, I could be wrong, but... I'm, I'm in, the, in the process of checking out as well their album from last year, which was the second record. But um, the one, in fact, yeah, the one I wanted to also talk about, which I should have probably done a separate video, but, you know, it's, it's just an EP. It's the band Oldster. Um, let me just, because uh, I'm not showing, I don't know if I'm going to be uploading any images. This is this is the band camp page for Oldster. Um, Josh Benash of formerly of Kiss Kiss and um, Vuvuzela and his got solo project. This is their 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 four track EP. He um, contacted me, I don't know, it was like close to a month ago, maybe a little like around a month ago. Um, and um, I'm really um, 
Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. I guess, you know, of course, knowing Kiss Kiss, I love Kiss Kiss. They have the two records and the EP, and then Vuvuzela. The stuff, he knowing his other stuff. I, you know, the style of Oldster, the album's called The Sun, the EP is called The Sun, the Sun Destroyers, as you can see. I would say that um, this is similar, but also kind of different in some ways. It's His vocal style is kind of... You can tell it's it's got a kind of a distinct voice actually on all the stuff he ever does. You can tell it's Josh Benash singing. Um, this track right here, "My Little Primate, Primate Mind," and some the title track are my favorites. I would say though, comparing it to Kiss Kiss and Vuvuzela and his solo music, it's it's more psychedelic and more I wouldn't call it droney. A little bit of droney. I mean, it's kind of slow. Yeah, I guess you could call it drone in a sense. I mean, when Godspeed You Black Emperor does quote-unquote drone music, I am often repulsed. It's that kind of brooding slows, almost oftentimes staticky, kind of, you know, meandering style of music that's often instrumental, often dissonant and dark. Um, the way that they're doing it on this, the Sun Destroyers EP by Old Stir. It doesn't overstay its welcome. Now, this is only four tracks. This is just a debut AP. Um, so that's why I'm sort of, sort of, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to, like, make any definitive feelings about this band. And, you know, I mean, I have a bias because I love Josh's music, previous music. His solo music, um, it's hit, more hit and miss. But, I mean, I do like a lot of this. Those two tracks especially, I, I think... It's got a cinematic quality, like a, like a dark cinematic quality, like a dark sci-fi or horror movie, almost in that sense. Um, yeah, there's a cinematic quality that I don't know if... I mean, some of his other music has that, but um, not in this exact tone. His other tones are more sort of sarcastic and um, humorous. I don't, there's not a lot of humor on this. This is more overtly like cinematic and trippy at the time in a lot of ways and i think it works i mean i guess it's a it's a four track ep i can't really i can't say i'm like obsessed with it i've heard some four track eps or from short eps I, I do love admittedly um but then there's a lot of four like like eps that are sort of like eh, and then they put out a full length i'm definitely of the feeling that i totally love that more or not as much I'm wondering where he's going to go with this next. And I know this is just his solo projects. I don't know if... I mean, you're looking at the, the lineup. Just a bunch of people helped him out. But, in effect, Oldster is Josh Benash's project at this point. I don't know. A little bit like I was just talking about um, that guy Erland with um, Soup. And then who knows what will happen with Giant Sky. Um, but, yeah, he worked on this for a while the last couple of years, Josh. And he's always working on music. I mean, you know... I, I'm curious about this, you know, I like it. I don't, you know, in the grand, like, scheme of his sort of catalog of releases, I wouldn't put it at the top, but I wouldn't put it at the bottom, probably. So, you know, that, that I, for whatever that's worth. I'm just curious more on where he's going to go. It's, it's He's saying, Old Stir's composer and songwriter Josh Benash and friends. Josh once fronted the band Kiss Kiss. He now lives in the forest and scores movies and video games. So, I mean... Maybe the, the his experience scoring some video games, some kind of, I don't call them, like, trippy... Yeah, I mean, that the cinematic quality kind of fits this, so... Yeah, I mean, we'll see where, where Oldster goes, you know, but I'm glad he sent me a, a download of this a few weeks ago. And I should have done something before about it. I didn't get around to it, but my apologies. Um, but, um, yeah, I made the, uh, the Kiss Kiss... I didn't talk about Vuvuzela. Maybe I'll have to do a separate video on Vuvuzela. Vuvuzela is really good. I was listening to some of that a few weeks ago and I'm remembering why I loved it so much. And really appreciate Josh Benash as a musician and, and as a songwriter. So I think that's it. Um, you know, um, there's some things that I was also trying to remember to, to bring up that's coming up. Um, well, the whole preview video I mentioned, you know, and we have a Cloud Cold album that's coming out called Metamorphosis on March 4th. Um, I, maybe what I'll do is I'll upload because I made a video with my preview, and then I'll just I'll add some notes and say I mentioned some some updates. That's coming out. The Coheed and Cambria Vax, whatever it's called, Vaxis Two is coming out May twenty seventh. So some news. We got a new song from the band Archive, and their their album Cult, uh, Cult, 
Arms and Angels, I think it is, that's coming out in, I want to say it's in April. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's the, the preview. I guess I'm not going to do another video. I'll just upload that. I did the slideshow, of course. A lot of new releases are coming. The the Songs of the Year thing is sort of a work in progress still. And um, Like I mentioned before, I want to do some videos on sci-fi, post-rock, the sci-fi space, and, you know, um, maybe I'll, you know, I don't know if I'll do something specific on Star Trek. And um, there's some other stuff coming up that I... I you know, I said the songs of the year, maybe, maybe I'll do, I don't know, songs and albums of the year, I'm not sure, um, because I haven't really gotten going the way I wanted to get going on that, um, that's my, my struggle with it, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to think, well, am I including singles that aren't, that didn't have, were on albums, and the, the 60s are a more, uh, sparse period for my taste, it's like Beatles, Beatles, and Hendrix, and late, early Zeppelin, basically, for my taste, I don't really get going until the 70s, so I don't know. But anyway, so that's it. So check out Oldster if you've never heard heard it. Check out Giant Sky for sure if you've never heard it. And, and note, Notes Review's channel. And check out um, the Best of Everything single, you know, if you're a Kevin fan. So, But thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.